Okay, this is going to be a piss poor video, but I want to talk about this Voltal programming. It's a nightmare. <laughs> battery voltage, you can set your battery voltage here. Um, your overvolt for lithium batteries are 88.2 volts, but for whatever reason, you got to set this thing at 91. Otherwise, when the batteries are fully charged, um... It won't work. You'll hear the hub motor just make a slight hissing noise. Um, under voltage. Now that is pretty much when your batteries are dead. To play it safe, you might want to set that at 60 volts. Soft under volt. Set that at 69. Uh, once it hits 69 volts, it, it'll start cutting back on the current. Let you try to get a little farther out. Um, now on your low voltage protect keep that where it is your start voltage now you can monkey around with this but from what i've seen out of my bike 1.2 volts is uh a safe haven if you've got it right get the rear wheel raised up and you got it out of scope on the low voltage you can change this um, and after you change everything, um, you'll always have to put this back to 150. Always. It's, it's a no-brainer. Once you open, it'll show connected. And then hit connect. It'll pull all the settings up that's inside the controller. Change this to 150 every time. Because otherwise, when you hit perim right after you do the saving, you'll end up changing it over to... Uh, uh, a 100 I think that's what it defaults at when it comes up um, but next will be page 2 um, oh the end travel on the voltage uh, it's recommended in the manual to go 0 0.2 less than 5 volts uh, I don't know why they didn't say just 4.8 volts but okay whatever um, where is that manual Oh, let's see. I'm like way out it's down here somewhere. in here somewhere one more page yeah throttle voltage adjustment <clears throat> let go right here and it said it is recommended to set the voltage lower 0 0.2 volts compared with Sexual torque voltage. I, I stared at that for a good five minutes like, what the hell are they trying to say? Um, and I just chalked it up as 0 0.2 volts minimum on uh, the end voltage for your travel. So that would be 4.8 volts and then the max voltage would be 5. Uh, low protect on my bike without the wheel going haywire. I've got to set it on 1.2. Low protect would be like uh, 1, C 0 0.3. Um, but anyway, and as you can see here, it's 0 0.3. Start voltage 1.2. Now this I've actually got set at 4.8. Alright, now page 2. 
Um, these settings are bogus. Uh, they're just, as a matter of fact, they're the default settings. And it says in the manual that this setting here is what controls your speed. Um, now, it was set at 4,500. But at 4,500 and me having pole pair set at uh, anything, even 16, it would go wide open when I full throttled it on speed 3, sport mode. Uh, speed 1 and 2 were fine, no problem, but as you can see back here, you can limit your speed per speed setting. So you've got speed 1, speed 2, speed 3, and the Voltol is actually compatible with high brake. The Sabaton controller that I had, that I ordered, is not. Um, so I've got my high brake back, which means I barely pull the brake in, there's a little bitty click, and uh, the brake regeneration starts. And that's the air conditioner. Turn that off for now. <sighs> I'm basically doing this video, so if you guys order the Voltol and have to go through all this, well, at least you got some kind of guideline, because I couldn't find nothing. And I mean nothing. Um, so this part I've got set at, uh, I think it was, wasn't it 1300 I set that at, babe? I think so. Yeah, it's 1300. Um, it says in the manual that, uh, this area controls how fast the motor goes. But they also say in the manual, a road test shall prevail. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, oh, what a joke. Um, I, how I figured the pole pair out was I went to uh, this. I knew it wasn't 28 because I'd been having trouble with that thing from the get-go. Now, I did discover a higher RPM with the Sabaton when I changed to 24. And I was like, okay, well, let's play around a little bit. I changed 24 to 23. And that is the wiring diagram. I changed 24 to 23, went over to display, which I, I can actually open that program up. Um, I went over to display, and when you've got this hooked up and activated, you can hit the throttle and it'll show your RPM, also the voltage of your battery, and how much current's being pulled, um, along with any error status fault codes that you have coming up. Now, this program will also tell you what gear you're in by the switch so if you flip the switch on gear one, speed one it'll be on low and then it goes over to medium at center position and then sport mode automatically it don't go to high <coughs> so back to the PDF file hall shift angle is going to have to be hall shift angle is going to have to be minus 60 and believe me this program does not like for you to remove any digit in there um, so you're pretty much have to backspace backspace hit one and then backspace and try and get it to show six minus 60 uh, for whatever reason this motor likes to run in reverse and you've got to do negative 60 on the shift angle to make it go forward. Okay, um, back to the pole pair number. I went to 24. 
and I got a higher RPM 23 it went up more now this whole time I am in speed one or two um, the RPM increased more I'm like okay what was the most common <laughs> common pole pairs I've seen 16 23 24 and 28 so it's got to be one of those um, after trying 23 I got a little more RPM out of the motor and then went to 16 and it it just jumped I was like whoa hey that might be it all right so after doing all that I spent probably two to three hours bouncing back and forth between this and the display screen and listening to the motor to see how bad it sounded or how much better it sounded at 1300 and 350 for here now if you go down too far with this your regeneration will weaken when you let off the throttle yes in other words this controls your flux weakening along with your no throttle regeneration and that's an automatic feature on the controller you let off the throttle the regeneration kicks in but you also have page three that controls your EBS ratio right here and believe me if you set it on 25 you're gonna know it when you uh, hit that throt the brake that's for your brake the EBS ratio is for your brake uh, mine set on 11 it's it's cozy I mean you you pull the brake you don't have to pull it that hard but it definitely slows you down okay back to here now this was 1300 and this ended up being 350 you gotta play around with this setting to listen to your motor to make sure it don't kick back on you make any uh, scrunching noise or grinding or humming or uh, it's it's a noise that you'll definitely won't miss so uh, 350 seemed to work out pretty good 1300 um, it was harmonic it, it had a good tone to it um, did a road test on it and ended up doing top speed of 48 mile an hour of course that was going down a hill going up a hill and um, eh, 35 to 38 that motor don't have a lot of power to it so that's just something you got to get used to um now if after you set this this can actually limit the rpm speed of the motor hdc enabled um it was recommended by the support team support guy that i talked to from uh, qs motor to have this enabled it actually caps the speed so you've got to use this and this to set the motor up make sure it sounds okay it's good and smooth nothing wrong and then watch for this because this can cap your speed from this ah <sighs> totally confusing I know believe me I spent hours trying to figure it out um, your current limit for sport mode that's going to be based on the wheel right now I've got it set at 45 but I'm subject to reduce it because <laughs> like I said in my last video um, 1950 at 72 volts is uh, 27 amps um, I hate to turn it down that low because that motor is weak anyway, but if that's what it takes to get the mileage out of it, then okay. Per charge, that is. The miles per charge. And that that's what it's going to boil down to. Alright, back to page one. Eh, pretty much done there. 
Oh, one thing about here. Your bus bar current. Right here. Um, that's going to be your base current for speed 1 and 2. So if you've got that set the same as sport mode, there's not going to be any difference. Which is, sport mode is going to be speed 3. It's automatic. Uh, when you go to speed 3, it automatically switches to sport mode. And that's, this, this overrides this, your base current. Uh, phase current has to be left alone. If you change this at all, the motor controller may not spin the wheel at all. I done tried that. I had to put it back to 9960. Okay, over here, the other section. Um, Mid-flux weakening value, this needs to match this. Um, you can leave this like it is or add a little flux weakening with uh, region on mid, which would be speed 2. Um, sometimes when it, this setting don't like, this one right here, don't like some numbers. So if you change it, I've got it set on 10 and it, it's working fine. But some numbers I punched in and hit save or I mean perim right hit the throttle it uh, the motor wouldn't spin so I had to change it back the tens working okay um, but all these need to need to match so it'd be 1300 here 1300 here 1300 here and 6000 I don't know what that is I have no idea why it's that way. High is not even used. And if you look, they actually misspelled it to Hig, Hige, Hige Flux Weakening Value. <laughs> um, I pretty much just took that and matched it with uh, over here. So I put uh, 1300, 350, and then 1300, 350, and I've got 1300 here. And then 10. Alright, your 3 speed. Um, they've actually got in the manual that this is low and this is high for your range. So your percentage range should actually be 45 to say 35, 10% margin. Or actually 45 here and 35 there but eh, I didn't see much difference in changing it so I just made all these zero and uh, went by this it's like these three with these at zero these override this because of zero so high mid speed 2 I've got 80 but that's up to anybody that decides on what they want it to be. Low, I've got set at 60. 45? <laughs> it's like 15 mile an hour. Um, who wants to go 15 mile an hour? Uh, not me. I can back off the throttle and do 15 mile an hour. But I've got it set at 60. Um, I haven't done a total speed check on these two yet but with mid at 80 i know the motor rpm is about 850 to 950 right around there uh, it might be a little faster i didn't check it after i finished the settings for over here um but all right i'm at 20 minutes now so i am gonna put this in open shot and get it sent over uh, there's the hull. One other thing. For the speedometer. This is how it's supposed to work. The speedometer that's on that bike is supposed to be a hull speedometer. Uh, now, it's, it just, I can't get it to work. Uh, there's some specific settings in that controller over in the port settings tab which is here 
Um, and it's also in the manual. Scroll like down to the bottom. There's the hall setting. And it shows you in the diagram on the manual for this section, choose, depending on how you've got it, if you got a single wire, it'd be optional 11 for PB9, and then that and that. Now, I've, I've actually got it, and that's a single line option. Now, here's the hall. It's option 13. This checked and a dot in this. Uh, the wire's hooked up. I took the original motor controller and hooked it up to see if it was still working. Yeah, yeah, speedometer's working. It's just not getting the signal to work. Uh, so I'm going to have to work with that sooner or later. But for now, I'm using my phone for a speedometer. I'm fine with that. No big deal. Okay, people, um, hope you found this information helpful. Um, I know I spent several hours and hours and hours and hours <laughs> sorting it out, but uh, it's, I think it's going to be okay. I'll probably monkey around with uh, the speed of it a little bit more. To see if I can maybe squeeze a little bit out of it. I know the motor's stated to only do 40 miles per hour. And if you do, according, let's see, 40, 70 kph to miles per hour. It's 43. That's actually about what that motor is supposed to be doing according to the factory. Um, it's either going to be 65 kilometers per hour or 70, but they translate it to 40 miles per hour. Um, it's doing about that, so it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. Can't complain, and it didn't do a throttle lock on me, runaway condition the whole time I've had it set on 16 pole pair. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that although if you overdrive it there's a chance and it even did it when I set it on 16 pole pair because this area was set to way too high uh, it did a throttle lock and I had to turn the breaker off to get it to stop spinning okay catch you guys later and if you decide to get one of these Best of luck with it, and at least you've got some solid info to go by, like what's in it, what controls it, how do you, you know, all the basic information, not necessarily how to take it apart or how to put it back together. Um, I didn't go over the taking the lead acid batteries out of it, but, you know, that's all pretty well straightforward. Um... But, you know, the tech stuff, the tech stuff is what's going to get, get the big deal. But the base, the base voltage controller is rated at 50 amp, which is complete garbage. Um, like I was saying before, the lead acid batteries, they're rated at 40 amp and they've got a fuse in line. So there's no way the controller that comes with it could actually do 50 amp. It, it's impossible not without blowing that fuse and also the controller that comes with it is modified sine wave it's not pure sine wave so that does make the motor have a little bit of a groaning noise to it it's not as clean uh, the pure sine wave controllers that's the one where you'll get the best you get the best performance out of them most of them are regenerative braking um, and uh, the motor will actually run cooler as well as long as it's set up correct 
But uh, anyway, I'm out of here. Have a good night.